माई नेम इज देवी गंगा आई एम अ ग्रेजुएट एनवायरमेंटल प्लानर एंड आई एम हियर इन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ अर्ली ग्रीन टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल प्लानिंग एंड टू डू द सेम आई विल बी यूजिंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ग्राफिक्स एंड होप इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू ऑल द कंटेंट्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग हियर आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इंट्रोडक्शन विच इज बेसिकली वॉट एनवायरमेंटल प्लानिंग इज देन द नीड फॉर इट then a small theory behind it and finally as a conclusion what role we can play to implement it starting with the introduction part so what do you guys think environmental planning is of course i can imagine what comes to your mind first will be nature enthusiast environmentalism etc but environmental planning is a bit different and an environmental planner is not an environmentalist if i define environmental planning it can be defined as a tool that facilitates decision making for a development project policy or program by considering nature as well as social economic political or governance factors to give a sustainable outcome and this definition is a bit complicated isn't it so we can simply define environmental planning as a process that integrates development along with nature in such a way that it will give a outcome of sustainable community and now do you have any idea what an environmental planner will be doing in this well an environmental planner is a person who analyzes the impact of development on our nature and then suggest mitigation measures to it and finally develop a sustainable community so basically environmental planning makes sure that the impact of development on nature is minimum or none next question will be why do we need environmental planning starting from pollution in different forms climate change over exploitation of natural resources ecological imbalance increasing environmental costs which occur when we try to clean up our already polluted natural environment etc are the major reasons demanding environmental planning for our cities coming to the theory behind need for environmental planning this is known as tragedy of commons The tragedy of commons is a problem in economics that occurs when individuals neglect the well-being of society in the pursuit of personal gain. This leads to overconsumption and ultimately depletion of the common resource to everybody's detriment. First of all, I need to explain the word commons. Commons is anything that is not owned completely by anyone. To explain the theory, I am using an example of shepherds and pastoral land. In the first case consider the square as a pasture land with green grass and consider three cows of three shepherds each grazing there here the cows have enough grass and they give enough milk to the shepherds then one of the shepherd added six more cows and thus nine cows graze in the same pasture land now amount of grass for each cow have reduced and thus their milk too leaving the shepherd with more cows with profit and the other two with loss in the third case shepherds have a total of 30 cows grazing in the same pasture land now the land turned brown due to lack of grass and cows are getting very less food leading to depletion in milk considerably here all shepherds gets loss finally and it affects the cows too even we have a finite world which we use for our greed rather than need and it will destroy its resources like a pasture land and finally we will get affected so in order to prevent that tragedy all we can do is to use our earth wisely and thus it will sustain for future generations so the last question is what do we do to be part of this process the answer is simple live sustainable and now how do we do that to live sustainable There are many ways. Starting with reducing our footprint by reducing, reusing and recycling. Then the next way is to use sustainable products which starts from dishwashers in kitchen to organic cosmetics in bedroom. The 
third way is to use eco-friendly mobility be it walking or cycling when distance is less or even using an electric vehicle which is totally eco-friendly now finally we can go for phrases that we have heard a lot which is conserving water then uh, composting then uh, using afforestation by planting trees or, or even doing gardening in our balconies all these can lead to a sustainable life and our role doesn't end here there are many many ways to live sustainably and if you ask me why should we do all these things my answer is that we and our future generation will definitely have a better world to live in so that's all from my side and thank you for your valuable time and i wish health and happiness to all in this tough situation thank you